So, I've been working on this since this came out. I posted it on Reddit. The idea I had that th this sorts out purified water. This sorts out steel, and this is making steel balls, which require five steel. This is sorting out potatoes, oil, and things that contain aluminum and aluminum, and it is making uh, potato crisps. And then this is just the bulk and storage where everything else goes. And the idea is that you can set up a settlement with potato plants and... Let me go over here and show you. Out of the way. You can set up potato plants and scavenging stations. Like that, right there. You set those up as a, as, as a farm. And then as your settlement slowly collects those, normally what would happen is it would reach a cap and they just stop working. But with this, it's pulling directly from the workbench here. So that means what's going to happen is it's going to constantly keep emptying out. It's never going to reach the cap, so your settlement will constantly keep working and producing. And as they're working and producing, your settlement will be crafting things like whatever you desire. Ammo, food, armor, clothing, just anything you desire, it'll craft it. So then you can set up a full, completely automated system, which I am probably going to empty this out and speed it up. Let's take it. No. Alright, since we know it's sorting out purified water, let's throw in it. Ah, no, wait. 29 purified water. And junk, we know it's sorting out aluminum and things that contain aluminum. Sorting out oil and some things that contain oil. Gold plated flip fighter. Oil. Throw all the oil in. And we also have it sorting out. That, that one that I have sorting out steel isn't just sorting out steel, it's sorting out everything that contains steel. I'm also going to throw random things in there to see if I can try and confuse the machine. In any way, like, let's see how that confuses it. Let's see, anything that contains steel. Well, that's steel, so. I've already, the settlement started producing resources, so I already made some steel balls. Let's throw those in. Uh, throw in TV dinner trays. Which I don't think will be sorted out, because I don't have them set up to sort out that. Let's see. What, something that contains steel and something else. See how that might jam the system, maybe? Because I know that these machines, if you speed them up, can jam, but I don't really know if anything in that contains multiple of one resource can jam. Alright, this is the vacuum hopper. We'll take all that stuff out, then you see purified water. This machine, sort the purified water. It always sorts it to the uh, uh, this side and lets everything else continue straight. So you're going to have to figure out a way to organize that in a settlement which won't take up. Also, if these take, if you build up a big one of these, it's going to take up a lot of uh, space in your settlement, so if you're not using the unlimited space mod for your settlement, then you're going to need to be very careful. Oh no, Dalton Farm. Dalton Farm, this is a test. We can't help you. You can die. Okay. Ah, whatever. Let it finish. Purified water, why not? That's steel. That's too much steel. I'm not going to sit here for 117 steel. 21 steel. Yeah, perfect. And it should be switching over to something new soon. Um, one thing about doing this is if uh, you put something that's like big, like a... Like a have it. My inventory actually. Junk. Under J. If you put this... Oh, Gary. Auto save. If you put that, this thing doesn't really know how to handle that. It, it doesn't jam it, but it won't fit through those tiny square holes like... Let me put this up there. See? 
Alright. And now you see this here. It's sorting out all things that have steel. So that should go through and come out. There it is. And then this is taking all this... Oh, wait! Okay, so it does take things that even have multiple things still. So it's taking that, and it's producing steel balls. This has all the potatoes in it, so it hasn't collected any potatoes. And the way these works is you just put in one of the thing you want it to sort out, and it'll just sort it out. So yeah, that's producing all the steel balls now. Ah, the shipment notice. So that shipment notice didn't, like... Alright. And the TV dinner trays continue through because this isn't set up to sort things out that have aluminum. Because I was running into a problem with things that require multiple. Unless I'm seeing it neat for the other one where you have to put in a like steel or aluminum. Actually no. You can't put yeah, the reason I couldn't do that is you can't put potatoes in it. So I for food you'd have to do something like this or if there's an easier way of doing it, maybe. Because I tried... Oh, there goes the oil. I tried using... Uh, this, but this... Fall down everything. Come on. Yeah, but I tried using that thing, but it only goes in one direction and doesn't let you connect two conveyor belts in the that direction. So let's see, we have oil. Aluminum should be coming soon. Let's see, where are we at? Yeah, let me take that aluminum out. Aluminum will start coming. There we go, gold plated floor plated. Steel. There goes an aluminum canister. There it goes, and it will, and it produced one potato crisp. All that build up for just a single potato crisp. There's not enough aluminum. Oh yeah, there we go, two potato crisp. So as you can see, an automatic it's essentially automatic. Once you if you actually just have all your settlers just uh, producing and your settlement producing, it should just go purely automatic. Let's see if we can actually have it put act in test with settlers sending stuff out. We'd move faster if you kept your eyes on the road and off me arse. Excuse you. Messing it up. Alright. Did you produce anything yet? Okay. We want to to work. Yep. So I will cut the recording until thing. Sorry. Right. So the settlement finally produced stuff. And there it goes! Into the sorting. Ah, don't... Don't toggle collision off. Ooh, too fast. Ah, there we go, there's even some purified water in the settlement. So, the end is, since that doesn't have any sorting place to go, it just goes straight to storage. And, oh my gosh. This is, this is my water settlement. I did check what was thing out, so I took a ton of the water out. Or else we'd be sitting here for like 160 water. It should only be 25. It would give you a good idea of how it works. So, as you can see, the settlement will automatically produce everything, and it will just go through, get sorted into the system, the system will craft things, and then you can sell those things for money. If you're short on caps, or if you need ammo or at all, you can sort it to give you ammo, and you can come back and be like, yeah, I needed that ammo.
Oh, that's weird, that's not making any animation anymore. But it is still producing. And uh, if you have it set out to sort anything that has steel involved in it, you can expect to build up like gold, oil, and wood to be in the uh, sections. Like how this has fireworks because it's sorting out uh, gold plate and wood particles. Yeah, ignore the graphic layer. I'm still trying to figure out what mod's causing that problem. And there you go. 100% fully automatic. I have yet to test it if I go away for a long period of time, like I go exploring and then come back, will it still be producing or do you have to be within a certain vicinity of it for it to be loaded? Since this is the DLC area, I'm assuming if you go to the Commonwealth, not here in the DLC area, I'm guessing it won't produce, but I know the game loads sections, so maybe if a section isn't loaded like on the Commonwealth, it just won't produce. Or, it won't let the hopper and stuff take it out. It'll still produce, but when you finally load there, you start going through the hopper again. Thank you! This concept is actually really neat that uh, it's possible in the game now. And it sort of reminds me of automated farms in Minecraft. So who knows, maybe someone can have a large, giant, upscale version of this, which fully automatic crafting of every resource in the game with makes millions of caps with full optimization. So thank you for watching.